WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 12 noon Eastern time on Monday, middle of the trading day. And we have a pretty calm market so far to start off the trading week. Dow right now negative by 13 points, trading 26,545. You get the S&Ps basically flat, trading at 2,905. NASDAQ positive by two points, trading right at 8,000. And the Russell 2000 negative by six points, or about four tenths of percent in the negative for the Russell, trading at 15. 59. As we start off the update, let's jump over to the VIX and check out the volatility index. As we've seen the market climb a little bit higher throughout the trading day, that VIX going from about 1336 on the open, now 1277. Quite a number as we come into some summer trading potentially. Let's jump over to the markets. We'll start it off with the Dow. So there is your 930 volatility, basically the session low right near the open of 26,450. We're now approaching about 80 points above that level in the Dow, trading 26,532. NASDAQ 100 accelerates from the open, trading at 76.71. We make it up about 50 points to 77.20, and we've trailed off a bit in the last few minutes. S&P is trading higher from the opening bell as well. 9.35, the market really begins to take off, trading from 28.99. We spike above 29.10 briefly within about the last 15 minutes. Currently, you have the S&P's June contract trading 29.08. Crude oil, gunning for $66. We almost made it up there late last night. We made it to 65.97. We're back approaching that level 65.91 in the price of June crude and gold pulling back a bit today as gold trading 12.76.14. Kicking off the news with some oil news as you have President Trump aiming to drive Iran's oil exports to zero as he's ending sanction waivers. So this is stopping allowing some countries to import Iranian crude Yes, to import Iranian crude. So certain countries had been able to get waivers to be able to import Iranian crude. All of that ending on May 2nd. Tesla getting a downgrade at Evercore on slowing demand across all models. We get Tesla earnings two days from today. And Kraft Heinz getting a new CEO after quite a tough year as AB InBev's Miguel Patricio. Patricio? is going to replace their CEO in the coming months. Stay tuned, folks. We got Basil Chapman coming up right now. He did his show earlier, then live programming. Steve Rhodes, Dave White, all this afternoon. Have a great Monday.